2007 is the year my adventure began. I was an average adventurer, visiting the city of Lumbridge for the first time. I look to my left and right and see wonderful castles and monstrous goblins attacking fellow players. Yes, I said players. This adventure I am talking about is a game called RuneScape. The game that ignited the fire of passion I have for business, entrepreneurship, and economics. As a child, I would religiously play RuneScape from the moment I got home to the moment my mom made me get off at 9 o'clock for bedtime. However, when I was on that game, I was not forced to conform with societal expectations. I did not have to act like the athletic kid I did at school. I could be me, an entrepreneur, an adventurer, a nerd, anything. I could literally be anything. In game, there are hundreds of ways to make gold pieces, GP for short, the currency of RuneScape. However, at 10 years old, I used two methods of making money, merching and flipping. With merching, I would purchase a couple thousand swords for 1,000 GP, wait a week, then I'd sell them for 1,500 GP when their virtual market value was higher. With flipping, I would buy a valued item for a low price, then sell it immediately after for a higher price. This required me to look up the prices of these items on various different websites and research the economic stability of weapons, armor, and swords. I studied the fictitious RuneScape economy and invested all of my money in one item, praying I would make a profit. As my passion for this game strengthened, I aged and started high school. My interest in this game got me interested in making money and even making a business. Now, not only did this game teach me about economics and get me interested in business, but it taught me patience and persistence. While I was waiting for certain items to be purchased, because there was a cap on how many of a certain item you could buy every day, I would go train certain skills. I would go attack monsters to level up my attack, so I could use the fabled Abyssal Whip, the coolest weapon in the game. It was black and had red strips and swayed in the wind until you cracked it onto your opponent. I would sit for hours upon hours killing monsters in order to obtain a high enough skill level to wield it. Now, repeat this about daily for about a year, and as a young teen, that was what I was doing. This taught me that if I wanted to achieve something, I would have to work for it. In RuneScape, you can build things with a construction skill. You can build tables, larders, chairs, and even dungeons. Just like in RuneScape, in real life, I have an interest in building things. My first experience with crafting something was when I was seven. This, I made this dinky little coaster. A U for my big bro. And a cigar holder. My pride and joy is table. Oak tabletop. Mahogany laced cork coaster. Oak hexagon table legs. Little triangles to make sure they stay up. Little square things to make sure the triangles stay on. This is one of the things I am most proud of because I spent so much time, effort, and quite a bit of cheddar on this bad boy. In RuneScape, you can dress up your character, and this is one of the things I highly enjoy in the game. It is called Fashionscape. In real life, I also like to participate in fashionscaping. RuneScape has inspired me to become the person I am today. It taught me the importance of hard work. It taught me a lot of math, how to type economics, and how to dress nice. It gave me my passion for business and taught me not to judge people by how they look or how they act because I made a lot of lifelong friends there. It taught me my purpose in life, and that's why I love the game. I hope to bring my experience and interest in business, economics, and woodworking to Lasan Studios at the University of Utah.